Hello to everyone. My name is Osha. Thank you for joining this presentation, Occupation Pilot. What exactly does it mean? Mainly, you can post your questions in a comments field or you are always welcome to send them to an email shown below. But firstly, I would like to share with you main figures about the career of a pilot. We have checked main aircraft manufacturers' forecasts to 2030 year and they all agree that the need of pilots will rise up. In the next 20 years, a need of pilots will double to 470,000 due to new arrivals of aircraft and retirement of pilots. The biggest need of pilots will be in Asia-Pacific and Europe with North America. So, as you see in this chart, now the need is around twice lower than it will be in 2030. And the need will start growing year by year. So now it is the right time to prepare and start thinking about gaining license if piloting is your goal. A long term demand is around 34,000 new airplanes. These new airplanes will replace older, less efficient airplanes. Approximately 23,000 airplanes or 68% of new deliveries will be single aisle airplanes, reflecting growth in emerging markets such as China and the continuing expansion of low cost carriers through the world. The twin aisle segment will also increase from a 19% share of today's fleet to a 23% share in 2031. The 8,000 new twin aisle airplanes will allow airlines to continue expansion into more international markets. Working as a pilot can be one of the world's best jobs. First year salaries range from 20,000 euros to over 45,000 euros per year. Pilots who have worked for a company for 10 years could have an annual earnings close to 300,000 euros. They never have to take their work home with them. Their job is finished when they leave the airplane. Pilots have retirement and benefit packages that exceed what most other professional earns. They get free or reduced rate travel. They get reduced rate hotel and car rentals. Most pilots love their jobs. But at the same time, they always remember that they are carrying around 100 people behind them and only they are responsible if these people will walk out of the airport. Airplane pilots fly passengers and or cargo on long or short flights for leisure, business or commercial purposes. The aircraft is typically operated by two pilots, captain and first officer. Usually the work looks like this. One is operating the controls while the other speaks to air traffic control and completes the paperwork. The captain has the overall responsibility for safe and efficient operation of the aircraft, including crew and passengers. Prior to the flight, pilots check flight plans, ensure that the aircraft's controls are operating efficiently and calculate the required fuel for the flight communicating with air traffic control before takeoff and during flight and of course landing. They are also responsible for checking the weather conditions and briefing cabin crew. So the job of a pilot comes with heavy responsibility and personal commitment. How many days a pilot works depends on a number of factors including which company a pilot works for and how long the pilot has worked for that company. While pilots at the major airlines might work around 14 days in a month, you must keep in mind that they are not coming home from work on those 14 days. They are actually away from their homes and families half of every month or even more. So they are staying at a hotel in different places. This is a high price to pay. Pilots are already living out of their suitcases half of their lives. And definition home can become a room in a hotel. As one uh, person told me, for those who love aviation, the sky is home. 
when you are a young pilot you need to grab every flight that is possible in the market so that's why it is a very tough decision for you to make which aircraft type to choose at the beginning so that you can easier find airlines to fly at when you gain experience and become very qualified and have a lot of knowledge about piloting airlines will start inviting you to join them so now it will be a chance for you to choose which destination is your favorite one as in all jobs experience matters just this job is measured by flown hours so for each pilot the most important issue is to fly so usually the best pilots do international flights and less qualified regional or domestic flights statistically here is how the day looks like for a mid-aged person a breakfast at their house with family yes some tiny things can change but still the main picture will be the same he or she goes to work working from nine to five and then coming back home usually the same house the same people a slight different meal on the other side is a pilot he or she wakes up most of the days at different time what do you think about breakfast each time in a different location Singapore Goa Brazil lunch in Moscow Paris or Dubai dinner in Johannesburg Washington or Reykjavik some of you may say that you prefer the life of the first introduced picture some prefers pilots but you need to decide exactly which picture is yours and follow that the flying is fun and everyone likes that on clear sunny days also it is nice to get days and weeks off all over the world it seems great because it is but for all that good parts there are a lot of them there is another side that most people do not know about it's really a job that takes more focus and dedication than most other jobs sounds to be a big statement but uh, remember that you are going to be requalified every year and depending on your job it can be twice a year so bear in mind that your records are maintained by your company for the aviation authorities and every check right verbal exam written exam line check is recorded along with the results each time you apply for a job the first thing they are going to do is browse through your records most pilots have a clean record but if also take in mind that maybe all that means celebrations Christmas New Year family members birthdays you will have to celebrate not with your family sometimes only with your co-pilot but if this doesn't scare you go for it pilot work schedule is done each month and flying time is strictly regulated and must not exceed the following 900 hours per year 100 hours over 28 consecutive days the maximum flight duty time per day shall not exceed 13 hours usually pilots are drawn up in such a way that they work for a few days and then have few days rest pilots flying long distances often have to work longer hours but there is a good thing upon this the airline pays their hotel stays meals and provides a daily allowance and all this is not a part of the salary you get this additionally However, a future pilots must accept that their work hours are often irregular. A weekend for a pilot can come on Wednesday and happen in the different time zones. Have you noticed how everyone reacts when pilots with cabin crew enter to an airport? Did you see how they walk? Did you notice their determination? Assertiveness? You are right, they always are like a bright star in a dark sky. They always wear uniforms, they stand straight, and you understand that you can trust in these people. Every time you will have to show your professionalism and confidence. I will share with you five P's of successful decision making. Prior, 
Preparation prevents poor performance. It means that before you want to start something, training, work, journey or others, you need to prepare to avoid failures in the future. Ok, I will try to be more precise in this case. So, you want to become a pilot. What you want sometimes is far from the reality what you can do. Can you be a good pilot? What if not? Price for training is really huge. Yes, it varies, but still in some countries for that amount you can already buy an apartment. So, if you are not going to test yourself, you will invest a lot of money and at the end you can have a difficult situation. Let's see, you will find out that this profession is not for you. So what will you have? A huge loss of money and your time. You need to search, think, test and check if a pilot's career is for you prior you start training to avoid unqualified performance after you have a license already in your hand. JAR or Joint Aviation Requirements, it's like in a constitution in aviation. They determine the minimum age of a pilot, medical certification and knowledge of mathematics, physics and English. The requirements here showed a minimum for this profession. There are no regulations on candidates' personality or behavior traits. We can assess specific knowledge such as maths or physics. But is it enough? Maybe it takes much more to become a successful pilot. I believe that you would not want that your family member would be treated by the first possible medical doctor. You would like the best of the best. So why not to ask the same here, to be flown by the best of the best pilots? Due to the same reason I told you earlier, Aviation Academy started to include additional assessments for people willing to become pilots. This is also done for your own good, that you would be sure about this investment, that it would be worth investing for your future and uh, would deliver you back as minimum the same uh, as you have invested. So, Aviation Academies now start testing future pilots' personality, thinking style, decision-making, coordination and the rest. According to statistics, there were 74 accidents out of 127 where the main cause was admitted as a human factor. So more than 50% of all accidents were mistakes or co-accidents of inaccuracies caused by a pilot. So it is a huge responsibility of a person sitting in a cockpit to land safely. According to psychologists, if we take all population as 100, only 16% will be the best performers in what they are doing. And it doesn't matter which profession or which country they are living in. I'm sure that you like to be recognized as that 16% of the best performers. So make sure that becoming a pilot will make you the best performer. If you want to be 100% sure that to become a pilot is your way, you need to understand that only 10% of the success you can learn. 90% will come from you, your personality, your ability to adapt to different situations and motivation. But this is the biggest slice of a cake, 90%, is usually hidden after the big want to become a pilot. So you need to be open to yourself. Sometimes, when pilots don't pass an assessment and academy rejects the student, people are very unhappy and angry. But you need to understand, once again, it is for your own good. Because maybe taking another profession will make you more successful, much more than you can have imagined. Here, we would like to share with you what is a standard process to join an academy in most places around the world. Surely, everything comes from your wish. You send an application, test your health. Your diploma grades are assessed. Then a short interview follows to find out your motivation. Then, of course, basic tests are held on maths, physics and English. Why English? Innovation, this language is like a national language. Then a psychological and Aptitude tests are held to check your personality and spatial orientation. 
and last but not least follows an interview which summarizes all assessment steps. And after this, a final decision is made. I would like to share with you the assessment process of the Baltic Aviation Academy so that you could understand more what the whole process of acceptance looks like. And I will show you who is called acceptable and not acceptable candidate at your academy. At Baltic Aviation Academy, a process starts with a psychological test. We use Profile XT test with, which measures thinking style and reasoning. How quickly people can understand information, share it with others, connect, make insights and conclusion. Behavioral traits. What to expect from that person in different situations. And occupational interests. To know which spheres are the most interesting for that particular person. Like technical things, financial or maybe creativity are among the main motivators. The profile is used as a pre-hire tool to find the best matched candidate for a pilot job. Profile XT reports help us to interview and select people who have the highest probability of being successful in a pilot role. This test is done online through Skype. People get questions that they need to answer. The test is done in around two hours. After they finish, we get a chart that we can analyze. Here's how we see the result. We have made a job match benchmark according to the best performing pilots. So, you see blue intervals showing that if a person matches those intervals, he most likely will be a successful pilot. So, I share these results with you showing how we understand if this person can be more successful pilot or he could face some difficulties. A passing score in aviation exams is usually 75%. So here's the same. The test is summarizing person's answers and makes an average score. So as you see in this chart, this person got only 63% and the biggest difficulty for this person is thinking style. This means that this person might have difficulties in hearing what is said to him and also share the information. Also, it might be difficult to adapt information and make analysis. While being a pilot, communication is among the main factors and of course being able to analyze information is also very important. As you see in this chart, a summary shows that this pilot satisfies 80% out of 100% main requirements to become a pilot. Yes, there are some gaps where this pilot not fully satisfies each interval, but in some point these variances are not critical. So after passing this step, another main test is Compass. Compass consists of three parts which can run as series of models. The Compass tests are all done on a computer and the results are instantly available after the test has been completed and the data has been submitted for analysis. So with the help of this test we can check uh, pilot's hand-eye foot coordination, spatial orientation, multitask management, mental calculations, short-term memory and mental capacity. So, when we have these results of uh, these previous tests, we can check your highest grade in the diploma and the level of understanding and speaking English. So, when we have this full profile of a person, we arrange an interview through Skype or a meeting at our academy and together we summarize results, talk about your motivation and determination. So after this we make a final decision if it is the right job for you and if we see you as a pilot in the future. So if you get an answer you are accepted we provide a final question. Are you really ready to make your flying dream come true? So are you ready? Maybe some information was already known for you, but this was Baltic Aviation Academy's insight too. So I hope you will make the right decision and some of you will decide to become a pilot. I wish you all the best to find the right way in this challenging highway.